please welcome daughters of Lyndon and Lady Bird Johnson, Lucy Baines Johnson, and Linda Johnson Robb. Our generation of Americans has been called on to continue the unending search for justice within our own borders. We believe that all men are created equal, yet many are denied equal treatment. We believe that all men have certain unalienable rights, yet many Americans do not enjoy those rights. We believe that all men are entitled to the blessings of liberty, yet millions are being deprived of those blessings, not because of their own failures, but because of the color of their skin. The reasons are deeply embedded in history and tradition and the nature of man. We can understand without rancor or hatred how this all happened, but it cannot continue. We have come now to a time of testing. We must not fail. Let us close the springs of racial poison. Let us pray for wise and understanding hearts. Let us lay aside irrelevant differences and make our nation whole. Lyndon Baines Johnson, the signing of the Civil Rights Act at the White House, July the 2nd, 1964. It was my 17th birthday, and no one will ever get a greater present. I'm going to read through some of Daddy's words, the last public speech he made at a civil rights meeting here in the LBJ Library. Our objective must be to assure that all Americans play by the same rules and all Americans play against the same odds. Who among us would claim that that is true today? I feel this is the first work of any society which aspires to greatness, so let's be on with it. We know that there is intolerance. We know that there is injustice. We know that there is discrimination and hate and suspicion. And we know that there are divisions among us. But there is a larger truth. We have proved that great progress is still possible. We know how much still remains to be done. And if our efforts continue, and if our will is strong, and if our hearts are right, and if courage remains our constant companion, then, my fellow Americans, I am confident that we shall overcome. My father spoke those words here in December of 1972, just a, more than a month before he died. Thank you.